Hey friends, <clears throat> it's Nicole. I just thought that I would quickly bring y'all back here um, to finish off this desk. I know that Michelle uh, would really like to have it. And I just thought since I hadn't gone live in a couple of days that I would just quickly, I swear, I'm not going to talk forever, come back here and put the gold Shiva on this desk. So a ton of you guys like this post uh, where I posted this the um, sneak peek of the leg, I think on Friday. And y'all, the, and the bugs are too bad to be sitting here doing that. Hi, Kim. How are you? Um, so to recap, this is Heirloom Traditions All-in-One in Mediterranean. And I used um, their Jet Black Gel Wax on top of the Mediterranean and the details <clears throat> and the client purchased this from my inventory and um, she wanted Mediterranean with thank you so much somebody just said hey and I missed them hi Tina hi Linda hey Debbie happy Sunday and the client um, wanted um, black and gold on the details and to make them pop hello Sandra so I am just, this should not take me more than 20 minutes. Um, so I'm just using this teeny tiny piece of gold Shiva that I have. And, you know, it's been sitting up there in my box, my buckets of Shiva. So I'm just going to paint, I mean, not paint. I'm just going to peel the protect, protective, like, film off of it because it sealed itself up. Hey, Cherry. What are you guys doing today? Some of you guys up north have to have better, prettier, cooler weather. Oh, please don't tell me that, Linda. I want to paint my front door Mediterranean so bad. What color paint, Terry? What color paint are you using copper on? People don't think about using copper as much as they think about using gold and silver, and then it's so dadgum pretty. And y'all, when I was in LaSalle shops, hi, Stacy. When I was in LaSalle shops a while ago, so I went up there uh, to buy something that they retail. Um, you know, I want to be able when people ask, well, how do you think um, all-in-one compares to this, compares to this, compares to that? Oh, copper's going to look amazing on navy blue. Amazing. Um, you need to share a picture when you're done. I made it so people can post on my page. Uh, hi, Amy. I have to approve them and I haven't quite figured that out, but you should try to post it to my page to show off and I'll see if I can figure out how to approve the post. But anyway, um, so the LaSalle shops up here in Waco has been here forever. It is like an anchor of um, um, LaSalle Avenue, which is to, um, Magnolia Tables on the Circle and off the circle shoots these different blocks and LaSalle is one of them. So if you come to Waco, you have got to uh, go by LaSalle shops and you've got to go up and down LaSalle and hit, you know, all the junk and stores. And I mean, we're talking, you can find smalls and unfinished pieces and finished pieces and painted and unpainted. And it's just a, a lot of people don't think about when they come here, what to see besides Magnolia and the silos and whatnot. And you're missing so much. There's so much more to my town than that. But anyway, so I'll have y'all know that I bought a, hey, Angie, I'll have y'all know that I bought a vintage polyester dress. I know. Shut up. It's so cute. I'll wear it one day if I can. It's got a little bell. And one of my kids said, Kids said, you're going to be so hot in that thing. And I was like, well, duh, I'll wait till it's cooler. And I bought a vintage fedora hat. And they had these candles. Hey, Rebecca, they had these candles on the way out the door. So this is apparently a Dallas-based company. James and Maria Organic Company, Bergamo and Tobacco Flower. And let me tell y'all, I am a candle freaking addict. Like the lady who is lined out of Bath and Body Works when they have those eight dollar um eight dollar uh hey Suzanne Suzanne your work is looking sweet these days lady when they have their eight dollar a candle sale I am the lady with like crate upon crate upon crate you know 
This freaking smells so good. James and Maria Organic Company. I don't know if they're on Facebook. I have no idea. Hey, Janine. But this bergamot and tobacco candle smells so freaking good. Um, see, Amy Drabo, here's a perfect example where I can't answer your question because I've never used Fusion. It's on my list to try. I think they're completely different. I'll tell you two things that super get with me with heirloom traditions all in one paint. Hey, Jan. I'm about to put some gold Shiva on top of the black gel wax, which is on top of the Mediterranean. Um, hey, Janine, but I'll tell you two, two things that spoil me rotten with this paint. So, you know, 10 years ago or whatnot, there was like only, well, you only knew of like one chalk paint. Hey, Tracy, how are you? And everybody used it and there wasn't a lot to choose from. And now, my gosh, there's so many paints to choose from. Um, but the big thing for me with heirloom traditions is, uh, well, besides the fact it, it covers, it goes on like a chalk paint. Um, so it's got great coverage, but it's self-leveling. I'll tell you that. I've seen people say that they get brush marks with it. I, I have absolutely no problem with brush marks. I don't get them. I can't tell you. Connie, this is Mediterranean. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Lisa. I can't tell you what magic I have, but I don't get brush strokes with this. Um, um, but, you know, a lot of chalk paints are, paints are so matte. There's no sheen. Um, you know, you're supposed to wax a lot of them. I never wax the chalk paint that I used when I started six years ago. I polyed it. I don't want to wax, and I don't want to tell any of my client, hey, by the way, in like six to 12 months, I, I think, I think you should re-wax it, especially if it's a piece that gets a lot of use. I did not top coat uh, the gel wax plan, and when I'm swinging, it's not like the devil or my other personality. It's the freaking mosquitoes that you can't see. Um, no, I've never top coated a piece I've done in all-in-one paint, ever. Um... In fact, that freak, that bathroom floor that I posted yesterday morning, she blew my mind. Um, she had told me uh, a while back that she'd done it, and I made the post. Well, we were talking the other day, and she's like, hey, by the way, I never did get around to sealing that bathroom floor. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, you're walking on this bathroom floor? And she's like, yeah, we just, like, treated it tender for 30 days and wore socks on it. And it's holding up amazing. And I'm like, my gosh, that speaks so well to this product. But back to the difference. Um, hey, Miss K, uh, the sheen on this, with the exception of as far as I'm concerned, Iron Gate, which is black, the sheen is a freaking satin. And you don't get that in a lot of chalk paints. Um, they say that General Finishes has a satin sheen, but I don't know because I haven't used it. But Oh my gosh, if y'all will go through my page and find that light purple oversized chest slash dresser slash nightstand, whatever that I did in Thistle, which is purple, look at the sheen in that. You would swear that I poly that with um, a satin or a semi-gloss. It is to die. And the other thing that I'm so spoiled by is the feeling. You know, there's a, um, a lot of chalk paints that come out feeling rough. You can so feel if it's an unfinished chalk painted piece um i must have missed stephanie in california sorry hi helen i see you though um hi stephanie in california but a lot of them come out feeling um rough until you wax them or like i, I want a standalone product i don't want to have to wax if i don't want to i waxed on this because i wanted to add some pop to these details but i don't want to have to there's too many products to choose from to choose something that I have to wax or have to poly or have to seal. Um, and this comes out, oh my gosh, it comes out feeling like a baby's butt, like butter. It is so freaking soft. So the softness and the sheen are huge like things for me and me being spoiled by all-in-one paints. I'm not quite sure how I got off on that tangent, but that probably took a good like 10 minutes. I have no idea. But if you guys can focus in right here. So this is 
heirloom traditions all in one in Mediterranean. And I put on some jet black gel wax just to make it pop. Hey, Renee, it is a great product. So here's my little bitty piece of Shiva stick. And I'm just going to go right on. So a lot of you guys ask me, can this be put over a gel or whatnot? And like I just said, this has jet black. Hey, Chris, thank you. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, now I see you. Um, this has wax on it. So I'm about to show you that it can be put over wax. And then a ton of you, when I am done, or some people, I may get several questions saying, hey, did you seal the Shiva stick? No, I am not going to seal the Shiva stick because it is an oil, hey Melanie, because it is a oil-based paint stick that is self-sealing. So I'm going to let sit and let it cure and cure time will depend upon your client climate. I found that it depends a lot upon that. Now I'm smack dab in the middle of Texas in Waco. Right now, I am pretty humid. We have been cloudy for days. And thank you, Bonnie. Thanks, Melanie. And um, normally on, on an nice fall or summer or spring day, within four hours, I couldn't wipe this back off. And it's really just going to depend. And depending on where you live, you know, I've heard of it taking several days for some people. So do you see? I am just sort of smearing it on with my fingers. I feel like I get so much control this way. And this is directly over a wax. This is over um, Heirloom Traditions um, Jet Black Gel Wax. Kim, um, you can push the Shop Now button on my Amazon page, and I've got all of the colors of, of the All-in-One and the Finish All on my Amazon page. Have you ever done the Gold Shiva with color Abby, and did you like that combo? I have not used a Gold Shiva with Abby. Hey, Jennifer, I'm glad you're here. So, this is Gold Shiva over Jet Black Gel Wax. I mean, if you guys have caught the replay or caught the live of this desk, you have seen it go from almost a um, dark sort of cherry color. You watched me paint it live, its first coat with, with uh, all-in-one in Mediterranean. Um, off camera, off camera, I put um, some jet black gel wax on it, and now I'm Gold Shiva in live with you. And if I wanted less, I would simply get a paper towel and wipe it back. You want to be, um, you can take it, but yes, Angie, and you need to do it immediately if you don't like it. And I've heard um, people say that some oil-based makeup removers will wipe it back and some other things will wipe it back but just to make it easy i always have clorox um wipes on hand and it will wipe it back but but do it fast don't let it sit there <clears throat> all that's important to use a shiva is gloves paper towels and clorox wipes and shiva comes in so many colors i have um Gosh, I think I've added most of them onto my Amazon page. Yeah, you can, but to be honest, Janine, they make so many different colors of Shiva. You're welcome, Angie. There's actually, hey, Patty, thanks for watching. Natalie, Natalie is at Round Top. I, I, don't, I don't know where all y'all are from, but everybody knows about Round Top, Texas, right? Um, but they actually make so many colors of Shiva. There's a pewter. It's on my Amazon page, and I have it. And it is a more subdued silver Shiva. But, yeah, you can put on top. Um, but you could probably get the color of the Shiva you want rather than having to put something on it to dim it. You could probably just get the color. And I think I've added most of the Shiva. 
and shoot, go look at my page. And if I don't have what you want, tell me and I'll add it. Or simply, you know, type in the search bar and find what color you want. They've got like a zillion shades of blues. I know that for sure. Yeah, this is totally fixing to dress this up. So come with me. Here, I, I know that I do this every time, but I think I'm just going to move the table for y'all. And I've got this out here because I don't have a citronella candle. And honestly, I'm praying that it protects me from the mosquitoes. So, now I could do two things. I can either, that's right, Kremlin. <laughs> hashtag Mediterranean is life and hashtag once you go to Shiva, you never go back. I can do one of two things with the Shiva. I can wipe it directly onto the piece. Or, and I do this quite often. I can put it directly onto my fingers and then put it directly onto the piece. You just got to kind of play around and see what you're comfortable with. You see the shadowing right here? I don't know if you guys can see that from your angle, but that is black Shiva. Um, panels on all four sides, I created sort of incoming shadows with a black Shiva. And I know that I've already said this, but I feel the need to keep saying, I keep um, seeing people come on and I get asked the question all the time. I am putting this, I only um, gel wax the details and then I black shiva the flat panels for the shadowing. But I get people asking me all the time if you can put, um, if you can use a wax with the shiva. And I am putting it over a wax. And just look how this gold Shiva is dressing this up. It would it would be really cool if Shelly was watching. This is her piece. She bought this desk from my available inventory and chose um y'all back a little. She actually chose the Mediterranean and um with the black and the gold. And I can't wait to um, to stage this and get the pictures. Okay, so I just got a teeny tiny smudge on the foot that I didn't want there. And I know I don't have the camera in quite the perfect place for you guys to see this. But I just wiped it right off with the Clorox wipes. And... Since I don't want to like jack with the camera, I think I'm actually going to turn this and just continue Shiva each, using the Shiva where y'all can see it and just forego um, the feet right now. Hey, Debbie, this is the gold Shiva. This is the iridescent gold. You guys, y'all got to smell. My Lord, it smells good. Bergamot and tobacco. No, I can totally see that the camera is lopsided, I, I, and I'm sorry, but I'm so, hey, Tina Trousdale, I am so not going to jack with um, messing around with that right now. But I am just putting an iridescent gold Shiva directly on here. And then just putting it on the raised details and rubbing it in with my finger. I'm not even wiping it back. I don't even, I don't want it, um, like, pulled back, less gold. I'm just going to let it sit here and let it cure. It may take a little longer, but that's okay. 
make sure you guys can see. And if you pay attention or, or even if you go back and catch the replay, look at how little this little piece of Shiva was. And keep in mind that this is a big desk. This is five foot by three foot. This is not like a petite little thing. And you're going to see how much of this I have left when I'm even done. Ah, Tara, thank you so much. Tara sent me the sweetest um, private message, and I appreciate it so much. I'm not very techie, and I like saw a glimpse of it, and then I lost it, and I had heck going back and finding it. But thank you so much. There is nothing that makes me want to do what I do more or makes me feel better than when somebody says, like, um, I inspire them. And y'all's kind words just keep me going. Somebody better hashtag Mediterranean is life. <laughs> Gosh, do you see how bright, shiny this is? I mean, but Mediterranean on its own doesn't even need anything on it. Mediterranean is the most amazing color ever. Somebody asked me the other day, I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I really want to try these paints. What do you suggest? And I'm like, Mediterranean. And she said, I watched a couple of your lives. I knew you were going to say that. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but Mediterranean is the schnizzle. I like all of their colors are the prettiest neutral. If you can put together, if you can figure out what a pop of color is that's still neutral, that's what their colors are. They're all pops of colors, but they're still just like neutral. I don't know how this appears on camera, but it is the most beautiful blue you've ever seen. And I have it in my living room, and I don't have anything else blue in my house. Sweating, and I'm like a mosquito buffet. I get gold. Here we go, guys. In case you're just logging on or you're new to my page, I am because I have tons of new likes and followers in the last about month. Um, <clears throat> my name is Nicole Kappas. I am two broke housewives. There is not another broke housewife. Um, back in the day, I just thought two broke housewives sounded better than a broke housewife. So I'm the two broke housewives. Now, I am, I don't know, I think I'm going to put just a hint, touch of Gold Shiva around these drawers. And I obviously still have not done the hardware. And look, I didn't even put Shiva down here, but it's on my hand, so it's just continuing straight off my hand. Um, I am in Waco, Texas. So, you know, I thought the other day, I just always assumed that everybody's heard of the silos and Fixer Upper and Chip and Joanna Gaines. And, and I just assumed that when I say Waco, Texas, everybody's going to know exactly where I am. It doesn't even occur to me that some of you guys may not watch HGTV or have never heard of Chip and Joanna Gaines. I saw that we just hosted Reese Witherspoon for the Whiskey and a Teacup tour. I did not even know she was coming. Suzanne, it's like getting to put, it's like the cherry on the sundae. So look, straight onto my finger, and I think I'm just going to like wispy it. Just wisp in it. 
Can you see the black shadowing on the drawer or do I not have you guys in the right light? Because I have black shadowed with a black Shiva. I used black gel wax. I used um, black gel wax um, on all the raised details on the legs and up the sides and the apron. And then I used Shiva on the drawer fronts and the panel on every single side. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks for letting me know. While I'm sitting here, I'm just going to sit here and see what this does and see if I'm actually going to need to take this hardware off. Because, and the reason I did not take the hardware off in the first place, in case some of you guys did not see my live the other day, is because um, this one would come off in the far other one would come off, but the center didn't want to um, come off. It's actually covered by the felt lining in the top drawer. Thanks, Debbie. And I don't want to poke a hole in the felt. I know that I can but I don't really want to. Okay, so I can see that all I'm gonna have to do is get my little um, painter's brush. I'm kind of worried to be doing this the way I'm doing it because I'm so scared my finger is gonna slip and get it in the center of the drawer and I don't want it in the center of the drawer. But as you can see, I'm going to have no trouble using the Shiva and turning my hardware gold. Just a matter of going slow and not rushing so that I don't get it everywhere. But you guys can see that's really going to pop once I get it, once I get all the hardware gold. But I'm going to stop. Oh, look, I fixed it. We're straight again. Just ever so lightly, um, just, and then just because right here on the edge, just a, just a hint, just a, just like a whisper on it. I mean, you gotta be patient. Don't try to go so fast or you will get it in places you do not want it. I mean, I've been using Shiva's for long enough. You may not want to try this right in the beginning when you start. I used to put it directly on the edge right from the stick and then either, then either use my fingers or a paper towel. And now I just have enough, you know, sort of whimsy and confidence to sort of do it however I want it. Hold on. So you see the hardware that I painted right over. Like Shiva is life changing, seriously. Not everybody likes it. Not everybody thinks it's easy. I think it's the easiest thing in the world. I think I can do stuff with a Shiva that I would do with a, a glaze, but I find it much easier to do it with the Shiva. So I'm just going to go back with a little artist brush and completely. Yes, Carrie, it does. Thank you, Karen. It does. What? You don't like going every like five seconds. I can't imagine why. There we go. I mean, I'm just doing it ever so lightly on those drawers. Sorry, Carrie. Mm. 
You know, the nicest thing in the world is when a client has enough faith in you and likes your stuff enough that she's just like, do whatever you want. It's like the, that's like music to my ears. Like, that's what you want to hear. So I, um, I put um, the direct link, by the way, to the um, iridescent gold Shiva stick directly at the top of this live. So you can go straight there. If you're needing more, like if you need the Mediterranean colored paint or the jet black gel wax, um, you can just push my shop now. But I, I've included the link directly to just a kiss of gold on that corner, directly to the iridescent gold Shiva stick. She is so right. I need to get a tripod on films. I didn't even think of that. So I don't want to move this. Shoot, I hadn't done this entire back corner. So the next live that I will be doing, I will be using a purple that I have never used before. Um, I have to do two French Provincial nightstands that someone chose for my available inventory. And she picked a color um, by Dixie Bell Paint called Amethyst. Uh-oh. And she wants gold Shiva or gold leaf or whatever I want to play with. And those were her words. Hey, Mindy. So the next live I'll be doing is going to be two French Provincial nightstands in purple. And I don't know yet. A lot of you guys know that I don't know what I'm going to do till I'm doing it, till I'm in that moment. I don't know if I'm going to go, I know I'm going to go with Shiva. I don't know if I'm going to go with Leaf. I'm going to get into the job and see how it feels and decide what I should do from there. What would be really helpful in this moment is if I found my teeny chink. So I'm down to this at this guy's at this point. Couldn't find it. It's so little. Y'all, Texas mosquitoes don't play. I'm almost done. Here's the one thing I don't know. I don't know if. I should, and this is one of those moments where I wait till I'm there, and then I'm like, hmm, and I'm going to sit back and look at it. I don't know if I shouldn't add some gold right up here on this detail on the top. Why don't y'all tell me what you think? Gold on the upper lip of the desk or no? So, heirloom traditions all in one in Mediterranean with jet black gel wax on top of the raised details uh, here and then down the leg. And then any shadowing on all of the four panels is a black Shiva stick. I just find it so controllable that it's hard not to use what are you guys thinking uh oh i keep going outside the lines and y'all i love to go outside the lines but i 
I have gold all over. Here's something you need to be careful about is I have gold all over my gloves. And if you try to rush, you are going to get it in places you don't want it. And if y'all could see all the mosquitoes flying around my face. So there's that. And then I will just keep blending this in. And I'll go back and see what y'all say about that top lip, by the way. Because I know I'm not even looking. But that is what I would like to know. What do you guys think? Should I put some gold Shiva up here? And right now at this exact moment, without even looking at what y'all are saying, I think I should. And, you know, <clears throat> like, I have OCD, and that's something that's so hard to remember, is that, like, that's half the fun of this, is not knowing exactly what you're going to do is starting it and getting into it and you know sitting back every so often and looking and feeling for it and thinking you know not making the whole plan like i'm going to do this and this and this get this peak no girl or, ge or gentlemen uh start it do like set your sights on one piece don't be overwhelmed don't be scared just jump in and do it it's not fix it i mean it is fixable i was about to say it's not fixable it is fixable. You can paint over it. Pick a color, pick a piece, clean it, clean it well. If it needs any sanding or, or um, you know, with a sand block or a sander, do it, but clean it. And then pick a color and go on it. And then sit back and look at it if you don't know exactly what you want to do. And you forget about all the fun things like the Shiva sticks and the chalk paint glitter additive and the paint sticks and the the molds that you can use on furniture and the transfers and the stencils and oh my gosh there's so many ways you can liven a piece up and it's so much fun and it's so therapeutic i mean if you're watching me you've got to have some interest in doing this and you guys have no idea how enjoyable it can be and y'all can do it little bit more y'all know when I get on these lives and start talking I completely lose track of what I'm saying and God bless your soul if you can keep up with me ping into different conversations this is what it's like on an average day in my brain <laughs> I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll like be on the phone with my husband and I'll be like, so can I ask you about something? And he's like, sure. And I'll start it. And then before he can even say anything, I don't even take a breath and I answer it. We say like, that's my other personality. And I have a complete two-sided conversation with myself. And then I'm like, so why did I even ask you? Because I knew that, or my other person, the other half of me knew it. So that's about it for now. Let me turn it back around for y'all one more time so you can see where I'm going. Hi, Kelly. So this is heirloom traditions all in one paint in mediterranean directly over a lightly sanded because the top was a tad jacked up over a very lightly sanded on the top cleaned up with perfect example how do you get it off if you get it where you don't want it you get a handy dandy clorox white as quickly as you can and you wipe it off and it comes off and just for me because I like to I then dampen it and yes that paint will dry back out to where there's not even you won't even know that I just did that but um 
Anyway, lightly, lightly sanded. Um, cleaned very well with crack cutter and then wiped down with a clean, um, wrung out wet rag. Mediterranean and all in one directly on it, available on my Amazon page with jet black, jet black gel wax on these details. You can see it up close. I'll take some up close shots for y'all. And on the legs and raised details, available on my Amazon page. And then black Shiva for the shadowing and highlighting on the doors and the four, the other three panels on each side. And then gold Shiva over the raised detail. I can't think of any question I might not have answered for you guys. I'm sure y'all will ask something I didn't answer, but I'm trying to be thorough. I'll go back off camera and I will Shiva the feet because they are not done. And I will use a tiny artist brush with the rest of the Shiva stick and I will get into the cracks and the crevices of this hardware. And I know that I'm going to have people say, why did you do it with the hardware on? And I did it with the hardware on because this one would not come off because that is a felt lined drawer and the felt is all in the inside of the drawer and up the back and I would have to poke a hole in the felt and I did not want to. So, again, I've reduced my intake of Diet Coke, but I've earned it right now. I want a Diet Coke. Do you guys? Yes, Jennifer, I'm going to accent the feet. It's just that from way back there, I can't um, see y'all, but for sure, I'm just going to do it off camera. Shara, I can't see that, but I will look them up. Thank y'all. Is there anything else? I would appreciate um, all the shares. I love shares. Y'all should see my reach and my engagement. It kind of makes me feel good. Um, if you have any questions, I hope it, it doesn't get lost. Sometimes I get so many comments, I can't even come back and find. Tell me what y'all, thanks Juju. Tell me what y'all think of this. Share it if you like it. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of um, your Sunday night with me. My guest, hi Christy. Christy is the new proud owner of that amazing small chest that I did in various shades of Shiva and copper leafing. And uh, you would not be jealous. Um, thanks, Elaine. Um, but I will probably, my guess is, is that I will be back on a live tomorrow, probably before noon. And I will be painting, thank you, Jennifer. I will be painting some nightstands in um, purple. So if you want to see it, be here. Thanks, y'all. Bye.